Hey guys, Stinky Cash here, and uh, we got to talk about something that's really bugging me. Really bugging me, because I've been saying this for years. Been saying it for years. If you go back to my video, uh, Flat Earth Why Lie, for, from three years ago, and you go to my video, Flat Earth Heliocentrism, a reverse engineered masterpiece from uh, over two years ago, I said that the entire model of the heliocentric... Uh, view of the solar system it's all been reverse engineered every i, I literally said every ex, every objection has been met with another cleverly disguised reverse engineered uh rationalization or excuse and it's true and it's true and 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 this blew my mind it blew my mind because it, it's 50 years in the making we they claim to go to the moon 50 years ago, right? So go back to a few weeks ago when I talked about Trump, the Democrats, the moon landing, and the flat earth. This video right here. It got 1.4 thousand views. And uh, let's click this video. Once you leave, let's go to uh, let's go to the part of the video I want to watch because it's, it's, it's 26 minutes long. So we're just going to go to... Uh, let's go about right here. Let's let's listen to what I had to say in this video on February 7th. So almost 3 weeks ago. Uh, yeah, guys. Trump Trump said we went to the moon. Buzz Aldrin went to the moon. Guys, come on. You know what I was thinking about today? Let's change topics a little bit. Let's say let's say the earth is a ball, right? And we could go to the moon, right? But it's a ball that is orbiting the sun at over 66,000 miles an hour. And the sun is traveling through, you know, the universe at, I think it's like 400,000 miles per hour. So we're on a moving ball and we're trying to hit another moving target. So how, how can I articulate this? Because of gravity and relativity, the way the, uh, the globe Earth works, right? If you were to go hover up in a helicopter, the Earth doesn't rotate underneath you. The air, the atmosphere, is attached to the Earth. So you move relative to it. So when you hover in a, in a helicopter, the Earth doesn't spin under you. You can't travel to China just by hovering, having the Earth spin, and then land in China because of relativity, right? But once you leave the earth's atmosphere and you're in the nothingness of space that exists between the earth and the moon once you leave the earth wouldn't the earth just zip by you once you're no longer moving relative to it wouldn't the earth be traveling 66,000 miles an hour away from you wouldn't you just be lost in space at that point we're talking about moving objects. And isn't the moon also moving away from you with the earth? So once you leave the earth, how do you get stuck like you're still in the earth's atmosphere? Are you saying there's atmosphere all the way to the moon? Did you guys hear what I said? Did you hear that argument? Guys, this is like we're living in the Truman Show, guys. This is like we're living in the Truman Show. Listen to it one more time. How do you get stuck like you're still in the Earth's atmosphere. Are you saying there's atmosphere all the way to the moon between the Earth? Now, th that might sound really stupid. And I'm sure science has some great rationalization for why it would be possible to do this. <laughs> How do you get stuck like you're still in the Earth's atmosphere? Are you saying there's atmosphere all the way to the moon between the Earth? Now, th that might sound really stupid. It and does sound really stupid. It sound really stupid and you know what the best part about it it's official science now it's official science now this is the consensus it's been three weeks since i made this argument three weeks since i made the argument and then 50 years or, or 500 years whatever you want to look at it all that knowledge and science uh, that we thought we had about the moon and the atmosphere rewritten because apparently there is atmosphere all the way to the moon. Look at this. Earth's atmosphere is bigger than we thought. It actually goes past the moon. And this has been reported by every single major mainstream science propaganda website. This isn't coming from uh, the fringe. This is coming from mainstream science. 
The moon is now inside Earth's atmosphere. They have created a cleverly reverse-engineered rationalization. Unbelievable. And this is just a week or two after um, Owen Benjamin was promoting uh, Bill Cooper's moon landing hoax video, where Bill Cooper makes the argument about how the video footage of the astronauts on the moon proves that the gravity on the moon was not one-sixth that of Earth's. Because if the, if the gravity on the moon was one-sixth that of Earth, I would weigh about uh, 28 pounds, 29 pounds on the moon, or, you know, almost 30 pounds on the moon. And I would be able to um, move like the greatest athlete on Earth. And that's not what we saw in the video. So watch that video um, from William Cooper. Let's see. William Cooper moon landing. This video right here. 44 minutes. He talks about that. And two we and two three weeks ago, I talked about it. How funny is that and guy? I'm sure science. How funny is Wouldn't this shit? Wouldn't the Earth be traveling 66,000 miles an hour away from you? Wouldn't you just be lost in space at that point? We're talking about moving objects. And isn't the moon also moving away from you with the Earth? So once you leave the Earth, how do you get stuck like you're still in the Earth's atmosphere? Are you saying there's atmosphere all the way to the moon between the Earth? Now, that might sound really stupid. And that I sounds fucking retarded! It sounds fucking retarded on the heliocentric globe model. Of course, we know it's the truth in the real flat Earth cosmology, but on the heliocentric model, where they claim to have gone to the moon, where they claim to have gone to the moon 50 years ago, right? They made all sorts of fancy schmancy mathematical calculations, to, precise calculations in order to travel to the moon. Yet all those calculations were based on the old thinking that the moon was outside of the atmosphere, but now the moon is inside the atmosphere. Well, if that was the case, then how did you get to the moon? You were working with false information. Let's listen to what um, Neil deGrasse Tyson had to say. This was Neil deGrasse Tyson's um, best evidence that they... This was Neil deGrasse Tyson's, one of his first go-to argument. This was his first go-to argument on Joe Rogan. Listen to this. It fuck with well, here's like the, the thing. Gemini photos. Yeah, but here it is. Here, here, here it is. Uh, if you look at like the fuel that was loaded up into the Saturn V rocket, you can calculate where that fuel could take that rocket. It's to the moon and back. <laughs> so it's they're not going to the piggly wiggly, right? Yeah. In the Saturn V. No, I'm a retard. Look so, yeah, you are a retard, Joe Rogan. Toe Rogan, you piece of shit. Um, yeah. So they had the precise amount of gasoline. They made precise calculations. But they made those calculations assuming that the moon was outside of the atmosphere. You would think that all those calculations would have to be readjusted, you know, since you're in the atmosphere and now you're being dragged with the spin, with the orbit. Everything changes. Everything's ch everything changes once you say the moon is inside the atmosphere. Guys, every... Every single, shut the fuck up. Every single, um, every single counter argument is met with a cleverly disguised reverse engineered explanation. Every single time. This was bullshit. It's getting, god damn, stop texting me, I don't care. I'm in the middle of a video. Unbelievable, and, and, and well, um, what what's crazy about this? If I had argued with a globe tard a week ago, if I had argued with a globe tard a week ago that the moon was uh, inside the Earth's atmosphere, I would have been called a retard. I would have been called ignorant. I would have been called stupid, and he would have argued. That the moon was outside of the Earth's atmosphere. He would have argued that till the death. Because it was the consensus at the time. Not because it was truth, mind you. 
Not because it was science, not because they were looking for truth, but because it was the scientific consensus in the mainstream. Now a week later, the moon has been placed inside Earth's atmosphere, and that same brainwashed globetard will argue the other side. Think about that. Think about that. They're not arguing for science. They're not arguing for truth. They're arguing the consensus, the appeal to majority, the appeal to authority. It has nothing to do with independent critical thinking. None of that. There is no independent critical thinking. None of these people who believe this shit can think for themselves. All they can do is read articles from these stupid science propaganda websites and go along with the consensus so they can continue this uh, idea, this facade, that they're intelligent and that they're informed because they pride themselves on their intelligence, they pride themselves on their false knowledge, and they pride themselves on being gods of their own universe. They're all atheists. They're all atheists. This is all an atheistic worldview. February 7th, I came out and said this. Owen Benjamin talked about uh, Bill Cooper's video just a, f a few weeks ago. Unbelievable. It never stops, guys. It never stops.